So this is a bit of a different video here today. Um, I just wanted to sort of take a minute to talk about what the future holds for um, me and for the future of um, a YouTube channel. Uh, I know over the past few years a lot of my you know, uploads and stuff of the Speedster and other projects have been pretty irregular and I think a lot of you realize that's because I've been away at college over the past four years. Um, so, you know, my time for working on projects like this whenever I was home is pretty much limited to summers and um, winter breaks and things like that. Um, but now that I just graduated college um, from Lehigh University with a um, degree in mechanical engineering, which I'm sure no, none of you are surprised by, um, now I just graduated college that kind of, you know, things are changing again. and. I mean, the future is sort of opening up in different ways. Um, starting this summer, actually, I'm going to be down in Boca Chica, Texas, working for um, SpaceX in their uh, Starship program. So it's it's pretty cool, and I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm, I mean, I've spent my whole life in Pennsylvania here, and uh, I, I'm definitely ready to move on to bigger and better things in a way. Um, but, of course, now that calls into question of... Um, what the future for macro machines um, really is and I mean I don't know is the answer uh, it's crazy to think you know I've, I started this channel almost six years ago um, just because I thought that you know the projects and stuff that I was working on um, was, was interesting I thought people would like to see um, what I was doing and I'm really proud I think I've changed a lot over those six years um, but I've really stayed, but I've really stayed true to sort of um, my my original reasons for making the channel. Uh, I think a lot of the YouTube channels I watch, you know, people, you know, similar fabrication oriented build related channels. Um, a lot of them are just as much, if not more, about you know the people or the person in front of the camera as it is about the projects and. That's not the case at all for me. I mean, Macro Machines is not, never has been about me. I mean, this is the most I've ever talked about myself in one of my videos. It's always been about, you know, the projects that I build. Um, and everything I've done here is exactly what I would have been doing, whether or not there was a camera in the room. And um, I think a lot of people realize that sort of, um, genuineness in my content, how I don't try to like, you know, um, hide anything. I try to show the full processes as best as I can because I'm just bringing you guys along for, along for the ride. Um, but I'm kind of in a, you know, weird situation now where I, I don't really know what the future holds for me. Um, it, it was kind of a, a sad moment here today when I came in and um, put the car up on jack stands knowing that that's probably how it's going to sit for quite a while. Um, but I just wanted to take a minute to th really thank every one of you for um, coming along this journey with me. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to film and share my projects with you. And I love hearing the feedback from all of you in the comments and um, hearing that you enjoy the videos. Uh, my favorite ones by far are when I get um, comments from people who say things like, uh, watching my videos has finally given them the confidence to to tackle that one project they've been thinking about for five or ten years. Uh, it's just really cool to me to think that like I've had that sort of influence on on people from all around the world. Um, and it is it is a sad time, but it's you know an exciting time too for you know what the future holds for me and. I just want to thank every one of you for, for coming along with me. I will be back. I will be back. I don't know when and I don't know where, um, but I will be back and I just want to thank every one of you um, from the bottom of my heart for coming along with me for it. So <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.